Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to go over the Wave to Play, which is one of our interactive devices. Uh, it can be used with any of our interactive players, and today I'm going to demonstrate it with a VP72. So in the box you get, uh, get an owner's manual here, basically going to cover some of the aspects of what we're going to talk about in this video. And then we have the actual device, the Wave to Play device. It has connectors on one side, adjustments on the other. I'm going to demonstrate how those work shortly. Uh, and then we have some cables. So this cable is basically used, if you want to use the Wave to Play alone without our players, it can be used as a dry contact trigger. I'll explain that later as well. Uh, this is the cable we're going to use to connect to the media player. This is a cable we're going to use to connect multiple units. So you can daisy chain several of these units together, and then we have some screws in here too. Okay, so the demonstration I'm going to give you with the 72, it's going to be somewhat similar to all our other interactive players. The main thing we have is an instant trigger and we have a delayed trigger. Uh, now, if you're using our 92 series and using the cloud, uh, meaning you're not playing off USB or SD, then it's going to be a little different. There's a campaign in there you set up and you set up events and that kind of thing. So that'll be a little different. That'll be another video. Okay, so the wave to play, we basically have two sides here. <clears throat> and the one side, we basically have some I.O. ports. And this is where you're going to connect the player itself to the the media player, and then also to other players. And it doesn't matter which one you choose. You can use either one of them. Um, this cable, there's a large connector on one side and a smaller one on the other. So as you connect it to the player here, we're also gonna connect it to the interactive media player here. Okay, so on this side, the only thing we have is the two connectors and then we have a dial. Now the dial currently is set to uh, 001. So what that means is when this is triggered, it's gonna send a command to the player saying, play video 001. And that's gonna be set up on your media card, the SD or the USB that you have in there. Uh, so right now, as I plug this thing in and I'm sitting in on a counter, it's gonna start triggering and so on. So I'm just gonna give you some examples of how you can use this in just a couple scenarios. I mean, you could really use this in in any industry, you know, hospitals, hotels, casinos, museums. I mean, it's just kind of endless. Uh, or movie theater. <laughs> so if you have a, you know, movie theater and you have like the, um, you know, the, the billboards out there and you wanna maybe have a video where you can let the people take a look at it, uh, this would be an option. So basically the wave to play, all they're gonna do is as they get their hand close to it, it triggers and it's gonna trigger the video. Um, the sensitivity on the front, pretty self-explanatory. You know, as I adjust this right now, we're on minimum and this thing's just gonna keep triggering. So I can just press this button down. You'll see that it starts flashing the next. So the range goes higher and higher. Uh, the one thing about this device is it does recalibrate as it gets into new environments. So as I'm setting it on the counter, it's kind of recalibrating. So it could take a little while, but as you can see, as we get with a longer range, it'll trigger as we're farther away. So this would be if you have a thicker material, maybe you're using a quarter inch piece of plexiglass and you want them to you know, just be far away, then you would probably put it up to the max. Uh, if you have it really low and you're gonna want them to touch the counter, you could set it to low. So that's the adjustments there, very simple. You just press it for a second or so, it'll go to the next light, it'll blink back and forth. I'm just gonna put this one back to the minimum side. Um, on the other side here, we just have basically two lights. We have an LED for power, and then we also have one for trigger. So every time it triggers, that little blue light will come on and let you know that it's actually triggered. Um, so another example, you know, here we have a movie theater suggestion. And then uh, a, lot of, a lot of museums use these devices, kind of a touchless solution instead of a button, and it, and it just kind of looks cool. You can make a nice... Uh, a nice display out of it. Um, so yeah, you can, aquariums, um, uh, uh, aviaries, museums. Uh, here's another example, you know, just wave your hand and learn more about the, the macaw. It's gonna trigger the video play. Uh, now there are two modes uh, that we have on this player. We have an interactive instant and we have an interactive delayed. And that's gonna be the same for all of our interactive players. So I'll just show you how that works real quick. So. Basically, the menu is gonna look different on each player. They're all just a little bit different. So right here we have interactive instant, and then we have interactive delayed. So interactive delayed, basically all that means is when I go to trigger it, 
it's going to trigger the video, but if I trigger it again, it's going to ignore it. So that way, if you have three different videos and you trigger this one and you don't want them to cut it off with another one, you would set it to delayed. But instant is kind of the most common, you know, uh, unless you want to kind of force them to, <laughs> to watch the whole video. So I'm just going to switch it back real quick here. So we're going to go back to instant. Save. Okay. Um, so that's basically how you're going to have one unit. Now let's say you want to have two units. Okay. So now we're going to get another wave to play out here. And here's the second one I have. And basically, we're just going to daisy chain them. And I'm just going to I'm just going to screw this one on here so we have a little more realistic vision of what it would look like in a uh, in a museum or a store. Uh, I'll give you some examples. You know how you can use this for retail. Uh, it's very very simple, very straightforward. Uh, as for materials, you could pretty much use anything that's not metallic. So. You could use plastics, you can use formica, you could use wood, um, you know, pretty much anything that's just not going to block the signal. Um, and you really just the only thing you don't want to have around it is metal so and wires, actually. So, you know, as you're, you're connecting this and figuring out the display, you want to make sure that the wires um, aren't running behind the unit, you know, because that will interfere with it. Um, the sensor is basically... It's on this one side. It's basically on this side. We have it labeled um, sensor side, but it will also sense on this side. So if you have it too close to another, another object or you have wires on the back of it, you know, it could give you some false triggers. So I'm just going to set this thing up here real quick. Um, flip it around. Actually, let me show you how they connect. Uh, so basically now we're just going to connect the two using this wire uh, and like I said it doesn't matter which port you use um, you're just going to connect them together very simple very straightforward uh, and then we're going to flip this over now we have two of them connected the first one that I showed you was uh, set to 001 and then now we have this other one it's set to 002 basically so we can trigger two different videos now um, so this one example with the one video is not one we want to use. We're going to take this one out and I'm just going to pull out another one here. Um, so here we're going to have, let's see. Okay, so perfume counter. So here you'd have a, a blue bottle of perfume here, pink bottle here. You want to learn about the pink one. Triggers the video. That's going to play the pink one. Uh, this video, just like all the other ones, once the video is over, it's going to go back to the main screen. But in the meantime, if you want to trigger and watch the other one, trigger that one, and you watch the blue video. Now, when I'm explaining these different videos, it's very simple to set up. All you're doing is putting the player in interactive mode, as I showed you, and then you're just loading videos onto the SD or the USB card for the player, and you're just labeling them. So this video that you see here that's just looping 000, um, it's, it's basically called 000.mp4, MOV, whatever the extension is of your file. And then the triggered file, so you have 001, you have 002. That's all you're doing. You're just labeling. So we have three videos on there, and they're just labeled differently. Uh, so it's very simple, very straightforward. So another example you could use it for um, maybe a home builder. Uh, same kind of scenario. You know, if you want to see the, the outside of the house, you're going to wave your hand over here. It's going to trigger that video. Uh, if you want to see the backyard, Trigger that video. Uh, pretty, pretty simple to set up. It's a, it's a great device, especially if you want to do daisy chaining on multiple units. Um, very easy to set up. These come out of the box ready. So if you purchase it from us with the Wave to Play and a media player, we actually preload some sample video files on it. We set the, uh, the dial for you. <laughs> so you really just take it out of the box, connect it to a TV, and you can start testing it. Uh, that pretty much answers the most common questions aside from this device here. This is a cable that you can connect uh, to the wave to play and basically it just allows you to use it as a switch so you could use it with some other device where you just need to make a contact like instead of a light switch you're gonna have just a dry contact uh, so we have these simple connectors here so basically on the outside you're just gonna do positive 5 volts and then a ground so any 5 volt power supply uh, just as long as it 
matches uh, the current draw you want of your switch. So positive five volts, ground, and then the center is just a switch. These are just two wires. So as we trigger this, basically two wires are just gonna touch together for you. So you could use the wave to play with this without even using our media player at all. So everything comes with the unit, um, again, out of the box ready. So if you have any other questions, uh, please don't hesitate to call or email us and I appreciate you watching. Thanks.